Hi Summit, this is Edward and this is your weekly update. It is the week of November the 4th and Jake is gone this week so I'm inside by myself uh, in my home office here. This is where I study, this is where um, I work from home. Uh, so uh, the other reason I'm indoors is because it's cold outside. It's stinking cold outside. So um, I know some of you guys have been waiting for this all along but um, it's, it's chilly. Uh, in fact, I, we ran to Longview early this morning and came back and uh, man, I've been cold all morning. So anyway, let me mention a couple of things. As you all know, this is probably, um, gosh, one of the most depressing weeks of the year. I know you probably didn't know that about me, but uh, this Saturday night, something happens. And um, man, I, I, I just, I, okay. So it's daylight savings time. That's that's what I'm saying. Uh, we fall back. We gain an hour. I know for some of you guys, that's like the most glorious thing in the world. But when it gets dark at 5 o'clock every day, I long for those longer days. So anyway, the reason I mention that is because this week, you do need to set your clocks back on Sunday morning. Uh, when you come to church, if you haven't set your clocks back, well, then you'll... You know, be wherever it is in time safe. So make sure Saturday night before you go to bed, fall back and gain that extra hour of sleep. And uh, if you're like me, you'll probably lay there and waste that hour of sleep and won't actually use it because your body's not adjusted to it yet. But anyway, um, don't forget daylight savings times this last uh, this this coming week. Also, I wanted to mention to you that uh, we have a groups gathering this Sunday at 11:30. These are for those you guys that. Uh, have not connected to a small group and you've been gathering with Jake on these Sundays um, as he's been kind of working together and forming these new groups. If you're new to Summit Heights and you're just now getting these updates, this would be a great way for you to connect. I know I've met some of you over the last couple of weeks that are brand new. You're just now joining us. You've watched us online. You've joined us now in person. Some of you guys, you're just joining us in person for the first time. This would be a great way for you to connect because Summit Heights, we do small groups. Uh, we exist to connect people to God and others, bottom line, relationship. And so relationship with others is a great way to do that during small groups. So this Sunday, 1130, right after the service, uh, Jake's going to be meeting with you guys and taking care of that. Also, uh, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday, we have grief support. Uh, they meet uh, on Sunday mornings at 1130. And so if you're struggling, I know we've had some loss in our um, uh body over the last couple of months and I know some of you guys are really enjoying that and uh, our team does a great job of facilitating that. You don't have to speak at it. You don't have to share anything, but it'd be great for you to go and, and experience other folks and walk in that journey with them. So don't forget, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday will be Grieve Share. Now, I also wanted to just take a minute and uh, remind you guys, we're starting a new series this Sunday. It's kind of going to go along with what Jake uh, has been teaching over the last three weeks. And this week, we're going to move more into worship. What does it mean to worship? What is worship? And so I'm really excited about this. We kicked this series off. We're going to be in this for the next uh, probably eight weeks uh, through the end of December. We're going to pick up the Christmas story and we're going to talk worship around the Christmas story, uh, what that means. And we're also going to begin a reading um, assignment, so to speak, this week together as a church, a journey, a journey would be a better word, uh, a reading journey through the Psalms. So what I've done, I've gone through the Psalms and I've pulled out the lamenting Psalms and, and left all the worship psalms, and, and not that you can't worship God in lamenting, but more of getting to know who God is, and, and so we're going to journey through the psalms together, and I hope you'll pick up one of those cards that are going to be in the seat backs this, light, this next week, and join with us on that journey of reading through the psalms for the next 56 days, and it starts Monday morning, we're going to join together, you take that card, and you can read together it's going to be fun to see what God does as we pray, we worship, and we experience the Lord. The last thing I want to mention to you is, is last month was Pastor Appreciation Month. And I just wanted to say on behalf of uh, my family and our staff and their family of just saying thank you for loving on us. Uh, so many of you gave us gifts and cars and those kind of things, and those were never expected. Uh, I was telling Jake, somebody made up pastor appreciation uh, in, in uh, probably Hallmark to make money. Uh, probably Christian bookstores made it up so they could sell more stuff. Uh, you know, here's the thing. We love you, and we feel the love from you. And so I just say thank you for loving us. Um, we look forward to serving you. We love serving Summit Heights and this community and the 
and just how you guys allow us to do that and to love on you. And, and I just want to say thank you on behalf of all of our staff. Uh, I know so many of them received cards and, and gifts and uh, that kind of stuff. And that, that just, that, man, thank you so much uh, for loving on us and, and letting us function in our gifts uh, here at Summit Heights. So we love you. Cannot wait to see you uh, this Sunday at 10 a.m. Jake will be um, back with us. He comes home from a pastor's retreat today. And so we've been praying that his time away has been refreshed and good and um, uh, looking forward to having him back and uh, seeing all the things that uh, God did in his journey. So I love you, Summit. Can't wait to see you. Share this on all your platforms. Make sure you get the word out of what's going on. This small group gathering this Sunday, the following Sunday. we got grief support. And so make sure you get the word out of what's going on by sharing this on your platform. Share it with somebody new. Bring somebody with you this Sunday as we start this new series on worship. Love you. See you at 10 o'clock Sunday morning. Don't forget, time change.